Hey guys, what's happening? Engineer Pat5290 coming to you with a little surprise. A little something I've been looking forward to receiving for a while. So let's go ahead and open up the box. Ooh. Oh yeah. This is my first piece from Steel Trains. It is a Dash 9W with a rivet counter by Steel Trains. And I'll open that up here in just a second. Okay. Oh, wow, candy in the box. Cool. And they even give you the, uh, the little newsletter in the box, too. It's very cool. Now, let's take a look at this bad boy. Oh, even they give you an operator's manual. And it is in the ATSF Warbonnet paint scheme. Really looking forward to opening this. It's packed very well, too. Like this to the operator's manual for everything, even lubricants, lubricant and maintenance, lubricant, lubricant, lube and maintenance, even the specs on the engine. And see, this one is DCC ready, so this is a standard DC locomotive. So they're packed similar to Ather, so you just slide her out and then we undo it from here. Easy and convenient. I'll hold it up in a second. Let me. Let me set that over there. I'll try to get the. Trying to get that piece of foam out of there. They pack this stuff very well. Hmm. Okay. Now I'll just drop the other one off, and of course you got to get it by the radiator fans. There you go. Check it out. My Santa Fe Dash 9W by Stale Trains, and it's the Rivet Counter Series too. Give you guys a little walk around with this thing. It's obviously everyone knows, these are the 600 Series Dash 9Ws built by General Electric for the Santa Fe in 1994. Uh, Santa Fe ordered a boatload of these locomotives and this was a beautifully done locomotive by Stale Trains. And as you can see, lots of separately applied details all over the all over the engine, including some of the pipelines right around where the air tanks are, the, the fuel shutoff switch, as well as the fuel cap. And even inside, you can got a whole desktop control, as well as the seats. And you can even get a better view of the front, too, with the whole dash and everything. As you can see, it's got the ditch lights, the nose headlight, the Chris Santa Fe on the nose. And on the side, you've got the Crest Santa Fe on the side. And even all these little placards on the side. And even some nice molded-in details as well. Move the engine a little bit. I'm being very careful with this. As we move on the back side of the locomotive, as you can see, the number is stamped in the middle of the tail. Uh, that was a Santa Fe aspect. So they're right on the blueprints with this. And even the nice yellow handrails on the front and the back. And the conductor side is just about the same. Um, as you can see, the um, the paintwork is nicely done everywhere, and even up on the top, lots of molded in details. This RS3L horn, as well as the, the radiator fans, look really good as well. So uh, this is my first piece from Scale Trains, and so far I am extremely impressed with everything about it. So this is something that I'm really really happy about. Uh, so. Uh, and many of these are actually in service still in their Santa Fe Warbonnet paint scheme. 
I've always loved this locomotive, this, this particular one, because to me, this is the best paint scheme the Dash 9W ever wore. And lots of grab irons on the nose, sand cap fills, nice crisp number boards in the antennas, and so much more. And this is the rivet counter. Uh, and um, you can even see right here on the tail end, you can see some signage that's there that is crisp and legible under a magnifying gas, glass or a uh, camera lens. It's so cool how these little N-scale engines have so much separately stamped signage where you can actually read it. Really, really cool. So I'll spin the engine back around to the engineer side. And this is just nicely done by scale trains. So, uh, but like I said, I have seen one of these in real life. Um, and that's why I've always liked the Santa Fe Dash 9. So, uh, personally, I would like to thank Steve Casey Railfan for the inspiration on scale trains, as well as JJ3MJ Railfan Photography. That's my friend Johnny. Um, hopefully, I got that username right. Um, I would like to thank these two gentlemen for encouraging me to purchase scale trains. Johnny has one. It's a Tier 4 GE, and... Steve does the HO version. He has the HO um, side of things. So um, can't wait to put this thing to use. So I will do its preliminary test off camera and I will be putting this on the rails very soon. So uh, that's a little walk around with the locomotive. Can't wait to put it on the track. And um, it is with that, I'd like to thank you all so much for watching.